This is Lexi. She fell in love with Kobe. We're in a mixed weight relationship and people often think our relationship is fake. Most judgment we get is the fat jokes. How did you get her? Um, you must be rich. She's only after you for your money. In the comments, they see her and they'll see me. They'll be like, how? People was like, that's her boyfriend? I was expecting to see a, a tall, skinny, light-skinned dude. I feel like people believe that large people shouldn't be with nobody. Honestly, it was just his size. That was the only thing that was stopping me from being with him. Excuse me. I'm trying to help you. I'm Kobe. I'm Lexi. And we're in a mixed weight relationship. Excuse me. See, this is why I can't cook with you. We met each other through school. I posted on my Snapchat. I was like, I want a boy best friend. Jacoby slid up and he was like, I'll be your best friend. After seven months of being best friends, Jacoby liked me the whole seven months, but I didn't want to give him the time of day. All of a sudden, it was like a light bulb just went on. Like, it was so quick. It was just like that. And I was like, Jacoby, I think I am in love with you. And then he thought I was playing, but I was for real. Ow, and you just put the hot grease on me. Oh, I'm sorry. That's when we started being together. This is my first mixed weight relationship. Bro. It's going pretty fantastic. I'm glad that I found the man that I'm gonna marry early in my life. Being a bigger man has never held me back from dating or pursuing anyone. I'm the most confident big man in the world. Anytime I get the opportunity to take my shirt off, I'm taking it off, I'm just him. So I never got bullied or anything like that because of my size or anything of that nature. And if somebody did have something to say, Jacoby is Mr. Clap Back. Because if you start with him, he gonna finish it every time. They're making good, ain't it? You don't like I'll it? part too fast. That ain't got nothing to do with the taste. It tastes burnt. Yo, mom, it tastes like bacon. Let's just have a silent breakfast. How about that? You can know my nerves. Sometimes we might actually really be getting on each other's nerves, but we might dial it down. It's not ever an unintentional annoying. There's still something to play. I'll just give it to the dog. Jacoby. Jacoby was literally everything I was looking for in a man, and that's really what he used to combat me with whenever I was saying, I just want to be friends. He'd be like, what do you want a man? And I would list it out. He says, okay, I checked all the boxes. What is stopping you from being with me? Honestly, it was just his size. That was the only thing that was stopping me from being with him until that one day that everything just clicked. I guess after so long, you get used to looking at somebody, you don't really like pay attention to their features and stuff no more. I just stopped seeing him so big. After we had got together, I just had my own personal TikTok. There was this uh, relationship trend going around and it was basically just like pictures of you and your partner together. And so I posted it on my TikTok and it blew up. I don't think there were too many negative comments or anything like judgmental comments on that first video. But once we started posting consistently, that's whenever it brought more negative attention. We hit around 10,000 followers and started making revenue from it. And that's when we started to feel the shift, kind of get more negative comments. You want to do that uh, video I was telling you about the other day? Is that couple that was like, um, how we, we the do every, 50, the 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, yeah, but we do that and we just exaggerate everything. Like we, like just say outrageous stuff while we go 50-50. Yeah, if you yeah. want to do that. While, while we, we don't, don't go 50-50 in, in our relationship. relationship. Say the relationship is really 90-10 and I do 90% of everything and you do 10% of everything. It's just supposed to be like crazy stuff, ain't it? Yeah. Just it, to it get just like an yeah. uproar yeah, to make them yeah. comment. You should have just did like a little fake kiss. Like you don't want to kiss me for real? That's what you should have did. We love to push buttons and get on people's nerves because they already have something to say anyway, so we like to give them even more to say after you get off work. <laughs> I feel like I've been judged online just because like, in the comments they see her and they'll see me, they'll be like, how? They will just say like little petty stuff like you'll rather be with me or I'm better than him. Like why would you be with him? We just posted a video not too long ago. Um, she came in to show me her hair and um, 
people was like, that's her boyfriend? What? I was, I was expecting to see a tall, skinny, light-skinned dude. The way they come off on social media, I feel like people believe that large people shouldn't be with nobody and that's skinny, people, skinny people should be with skinny people. That, that's, that's the way they come off on social media. Most judgment we get is the fat jokes that always come in our comments. How did you get her? Or she's only after you for your money. She doesn't like you for real. What are you dating? I think they could do a little bit better than that. I think she lost a bit. Whoever don't throw the rock the farthest got to date you. So you like the um the punishment. The Prepare that big Goliath's next meal. How much they paying her? Again, they acted like he got to have some money. All I'm saying is that's fake and she probably doing that for views. Feel bad for that man. A lot of comments also be like, I'm skinny and I still can't get a girl and he fat and he got a girl, so why can't I? It's crazy because a lot of the comments, they come from boys. I don't understand that. You a grown man, why are you so obsessed with another man and what another man got going on? It doesn't really bother me a lot because it don't hurt his feelings. I really don't pay it any mind. I just can't say what I really want to say because of TikTok guidelines and stuff. Due to us getting all the hate with the trolling, that's what pushed us to make content. We realized the more people have something negative to say, the more comments we get, the more shares we get, that gets us more exposure and it also will increase our revenue at the end of the month. We not gonna have time to go to the gym. So do you want to do something here? Like a little something? Yeah, I just got some dumbbells the other day. One, two, three. I love working out together. It's a fun activity when we're able to work out together. <laughs> <laughs> we be pushing each other. Jacob, look at your legs. People think they be like, you need to get in the gym ASAP, do some push-ups. I have videos running. The people that be like, oh, you need to get in gym, they won't take the time to click on the page and see, oh, wow, they have like a whole gym playlist of nothing but videos of them in the gym. Maybe if I watch one, I'll see him repping 350 pounds on bench. It's a difference if somebody be like, you need to lose weight. Now, if they say I need to lose weight, then I agree. As far as saying being in the gym, I'm in the gym. It's just, I like food. I've always been confident in myself and Never lack self-esteem. What do you say? What, what do you mean, what do I say? You just be saying you sexy and stuff. Oh yeah, I am. I'm the sexiest man in the world. We got our workout done. It's a beautiful day outside. Let's go rip some lips. What is that supposed to be? Fish. Ripping lips? Yeah, it's good fish. when you throw it out the reel and you set the hook. Oh, you're not gonna open my door? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. Look, it's so pretty. It is pretty. This thing is really a good little peaceful getaway when it's not too hot. Nobody out here bothering you. Turn your phone off if you want to. Good bonding time. Body positivity to me is not caring what people have to say. If you're big, you go to the pool, take your shirt off. Don't be stunned what other people got to say. Jacoby is a great man. I love his personality. Not everybody can be as confident as him, especially as a bigger person. He carries so much confidence in himself. For all the people who judge mixed weight relationships, I feel like they're insecure, they're stupid. They like to project their own insecurities on other people. Why should it even bother you who I'm with? It's not like you gotta put up with me or you gotta put up with her. As long as you put putting money in my pocket, I don't care what you got to say. You can keep with the judgmental stuff. Dig deep in your soul and just pour out all the insecurities that you have. Put it right in my comment section. I'll give you a little dollar something.